hello and thank you for watching and welcome to this third week in April 2019. I'm on my way to work. It's oh, again, it's later than I wanted. It's eight. It's like eight. Oh, it's eight thirty-one. Um, and again, I would have wanted to be on the road earlier, but um, this is fine. Ooh, uh, sirens. Um, we had some storms last night at about like four, three, four a.m. Um, they were pretty violent, um, like lightning and thunder. And I was like, I'd count the number of seconds uh, from the time I saw the lightning to the thunder. And they weren't that close. They were maybe four or five miles off, but they were really, really um, aggressive. So um, they're down trees and there's a lot of activity going on. So I guess people are out of power. Um, thank goodness we didn't lose anything uh, that I saw. Um, last night we may have lost for a couple seconds but it came right back on which is good news um, so i am heading into the office now and getting ready to start my day i'm so um looking forward to this week because today i don't have anything after work <laughs> i can come right home which is very exciting to me i only left with one bag like my work bag so that's fun i have my gym bag in the back um but i don't think i'll end up going to the gym um, so what's on tap for this week is um, pretty standard. I teach on Tuesday. I have my orchestra concert on Wednesday. Then I have um, on Thursday makeup lessons because uh, my lessons moved from today uh, when I normally teach to um, Thursday. So that's exciting. Um, and then Friday and Monday I have some time off from work, uh, which is very exciting. I'm very much looking forward to that um, because I'm planning on going on sort of a mini getaway um, down to uh, down south to the shore to a town that I've never been to before which is exciting for the Easter holiday so that is something that I'm looking forward to very much um, and I'm hoping to grab some footage there as well um, how was a week? Oh my gosh, there's pollen everywhere and spring is like is my least favorite season for that reason. I'm not a big fan. Um, just seasonal allergies really tend to hit me. This year I started my medication. I just take Allegra daily, but it takes some time to build up in your system. So I started it early, which ended up working out really well. So I haven't really been experiencing like the um, like dry, dry eyes, like swollen eyes, like um, congestion and like itchy throat that's a big one for me but I've just been really tired like really really tired um, and I'm putting that down to um, seasonal allergens because on Saturday I spent um, some good some time outdoors let's say maybe an hour and a half two hours outdoors I went to um, to go check out the cherry blossoms sort of at peak blooming season before they fall away for the year and they're just gorgeous um, we went to a park um, nearby that had like over 5,000 different species um, and so that was a lot of fun but I feel like the next day I like I couldn't get out of bed so it was like we went on Saturday and then Sunday I was like wiped out for the whole morning which was disappointing but um, I just took it easy and listened to myself and I didn't push and I just kind of took a rest which I needed for sure and felt great so I'm kind of I'm feeling definitely more recharged um, and rested today so that's some good news um, but I just I'm trying to stay hydrated and to rest when I need it um, I got my giant thing of water that I love this is a Bubba um, water bottle and it's 32 ounces which is great because I try to get two to three of these a day of water and I, I just I'm a big drinker <laughs> my drinking problem and um, it helps a lot in easing these seasonal allergy symptoms and just in general in terms of overall health and wellness. Um, I have my coffee here and you will have seen some footage of that um, at the start of this vlog and so here's my story with this coffee mug. It is a just like a, a freebie that I got or that my mom got from like a conference center and this is the mug that I use and I really enjoy this mug because it's, I, I don't, it, it's, I don't say I don't care about it, I, I enjoy it, but it's cheap and cheerful and nothing has ever happened to it. It's like indestructible. I've had some really nice coffee mugs in the past and I either end up losing them or breaking them and I was like, no more. So I just use this, this um, 
free one and I, I had great luck with it so far so I've used this for maybe a year I'm gonna say like a year plus every morning I make my coffee I buy coffee mate sugar-free creamer which is kind of expensive it's like $3.99 and I just buy it because I really enjoy it it makes a big difference sometimes if I'm like on a budget crunch I'll, I'll use if I'm like trying to make the end of my grocery um, envelope I will use the ShopRite version of the sugar-free like French vanilla but I really love uh, coffee mate sweet cream Sugar free is my favorite creamer. So I use that and I make my coffee every morning. And for three, even at $3.99, which is super expensive, it's that's a cost of about one coffee a morning. So, or one coffee um, that you would buy from like a, um, like a, a specialty store, kind of like a Starbucks or a Dunkin'. Well, Dunkin's like two, two dollars. But I feel like that's a great savings and I'm happy to do that. Um, so that's my coffee routine. I use a French press and um, I, I brew it and go. And I feel like that saves me money and that's a frugal sort of switch that I'm willing to make to save, I would say maybe like close to a hundred bucks a month because I used to stop, uh, stop at 7-Eleven and that was $2 a day and it adds up. So you're talking maybe 20 bucks, 20, 40, 60, 80 bucks over the course of a month, $100. So I'm happy to do that and put the hundred dollars somewhere else. Usually it goes toward eating out, but that's what I, um, that's my coffee routine in the morning. Cause I'm, I'm curious how people start their day. And that's definitely a big part of my day. So that's where that is. Um, so that is me for the start of this day and I will check in with you later. The work day is done and I am heading home to start second work day <laughs> so I kind of worked out a schedule for myself and I get home around like 5 45 6 so I'm gonna eat for a little bit chill for a little bit um, and then dive right oh hello some guys walking on the side of a busy highway yikes um, so I'm gonna get home chill a little bit and then uh, go for a walk I'm hoping because the weather is really nice maybe I can walk outside that'd be great Normally I walk indoors on my treadmill, but that was mostly in the winter because it was dark and cold and gloomy. Um, and I didn't want to be walking outside late when it was dark. So now that it's a little bit brighter out, look at that sunshine. Uh, so now that it's a little brighter out, I can maybe do some walking outdoors, which should be good um, for my mood. Gotta love that vitamin D. So I will do that and then I will jump right into listing because I have been slacking on my listing lately. I just ran my closing numbers um, for my store and they the numbers don't lie. <laughs> it's sad but true. Um, I did not do so good this month um, or I didn't do well in March at all because I just kind of dropped off. Um, when I was doing my energy got taken other places which just is. Um, time to jump back in to it so that's my plan for the rest of the night um so let's schedule what else did I want to talk about um I felt like there were some interesting things um affirmations yes because I saw um Steve Reagan Reagan Prophet on Instagram had posted a picture of it was like um like index cards with a spiral bound like if you've ever used those like in elementary school or in school where you would have like flashcards where you like I use them for vocab words where you have like when you're learning a new language with the word on one side and the meaning on the other side but he posted them um next to a steering wheel so inside a car um with affirmations on them and I thought what a cool idea because I love um anything like supply office related planner stuff uh, you guys know that I love my planning supplies um and I thought that would be a cool way to use them, um, yeah, to like write out affirmations. So that was something I was thinking about. Um, what else was I thinking about? I'm thinking about merging. That's what I'm thinking about. Stay safe out there. Um, what else? Middle of April, end of April. This is um, right around the middle of April. Let's talk um, spending plan. That'd be fun. So where are we in regard to the plan? Um, hmm. Ugh. Lawn care is an expense that came up. That's like not a fun expense, but necessary. So that's something that came up. And then it's like once one thing gets sort of um, 
shifted that I feel like it causes other shifts and not all of them are financial. Some of them are like emotional. So like, um, so I guess part of me is like resisting having to pay that expense. Just suck it up. I tell myself everyone has expenses that they don't love paying. So I just need to write that check and get that out. Um, and I think I'm going to split it up into two parts because our long guy is super cool. Um, let's just do that. So I can pay half now and then half um, when I get my second paycheck as per my pay period uh, spending plan. So that's the plan there. I will do that also as soon as I get home. And, oh, my word, it's windy. Um, what else do I have going on? I think that's it. Uh, oh, I'm going out for uh, burgers with some friends tomorrow, so that's exciting. Fully budgeted for going to use cash, of course. So that's that. And I think that's where we are for today. That's what's going on so far. Hope that you're having a fabulous day wherever you are. And I hope that you have enjoyed watching and we'll keep watching. Thanks. Bye. Hey there. It just turned 8 o'clock p.m. and I'm home. I finished dinner and I'm about to jump into my eBay listing. But I had to add this other sort of like, I guess, coda clip on because I had mentioned in the last clip how I really liked Steve Rakin's, um, the affirmations that he posted on an index card. So I decided to make myself some affirmations on index cards as well. And I just stuck them on a little safety pin here so I can kind of flip through them, um, like that. So my plan is to have these with me at the beginning of the day to choose an affirmation and to meditate on it for at least 15 minutes and then to carry that with me into the car. So I use that time in the car productively to help train my thoughts toward abundance and prosperity. Um, as a Bible-believing woman of faith, I feel like it is so important to take captive every thought um, and um, to direct your thoughts um, toward heaven. So <laughs> that is what I am doing um, with this uh, little setup here and I thought that was a neat way to do it. So that is what I, I just spent like 40 minutes writing out these affirmations. I'm doing the 40-day prosperity plan uh, by John Randolph Price and I'll put a link down below if anyone's interested in that. Um, and I'm planning on starting today. It took me like it took me so long to write these out that I'm like oh my goodness um, I'm exhausted um, and I still have some work to get, get into doing. Um, as a child of heaven, I think it's important to remember where we come from and where our ultimate source lies. Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to jump into some ultimate um, source generating activities and get started on my eBay listing so I don't need to be ashamed as a workman. So <laughs> that's what I just spent uh, the last 45 minutes doing. And um, thanks again, guys, for watching. Bye.